everyone, I am Ashok. Welcome to another video on Machine Learning Data Science Terminology Series. In this video, we we'll look at AutoScore. AutoScore is one of the popular metrics for regression evaluation. So what is AutoScore? Well, before going into AutoScore, let me just show you how uh, we can use AutoScore for evaluation. So let's say you have some kind of prediction uh, some kind of y target, let's say you have one, two, three values, and then your predicted y is one, two, four. Okay, so well, the first two cases the prediction was uh, correct, is exactly the same, and the last one had a deviation of one. Okay, so if you look at the auto score for this, auto score is you can take that implementation from SKLearn import auto score and you say auto score y comma y predict is 0.5 what does it mean well let me just look into the formula of auto score auto score is equal to 1 minus ssr by sst and ssr stands for sum of square of residuals residuals are nothing but errors okay and ssd stands for sum of square of totals okay so if you want to calculate ssr uh, we find the errors or residuals we simply square them and add them for example in our case ssr Calculation your y is 1, 2, 3 and y predict is 1, 2, 4. The error or residuals are 0, 0, minus 1 because y actual minus y predict. So 0, 0, minus 1 are your residuals. So sum of square of residuals is simply 0 square plus 0 square plus minus 1 square or simply 1 square gives you 1. The SSR for the problem you have just done is actually 1. Okay. And let's calculate SST. SST is actually a deviation of the data from its own center. So for SSR, we use both uh, YP and Y because you need to find the residuals. For SST, we simply use your actual values and find the mean of it. The mean of this data is the, the average of this data is actually 2 because 1 plus 2 plus 3 by 3 is 2. And then we'll find the deviations of every single point to its center. So basically 1 minus 2, comma, uh, 2 minus 2, comma, 3 minus 2. Okay, so this becomes minus 1, comma, 0, comma, 1. So this is what we call it as deviation from its center. I mean, even in your calculation of variance and standard deviation, we do the similar. Then we take an average. Here it's just a deviation. We square and add them. So 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square, which gives you simply 2. The SSR is 2 and SST, SSR is 1 and SST is 2. So you put it back in the formula, 1 minus SSR is 1, SST is uh, 2, it becomes 1 by 2, which is nothing but 0.5, which is the value you have seen over here. So calculation wise is pretty straightforward. So SSR is sum of square of residuals. Residuals are errors, errors between the actual data and the predicted data, the predicted data from your model. And SST is the actual data, the deviation from its own center, and we square and add those deviations. That becomes your SST. So what exactly specifies? Well, it's, it's, it's actually SST is called as mean model. For example, SST, is termed as I would say SST is also called as mean model. Mean model is a model which is you know which is actually uh, towards your mean. For example, if you want to predict anything, uh, let's say you have uh, some marks of a student. For example, one exam, one semester, you got eighty percent. Another semester, you got 90%. Um, and then I want to predict for the third semester. So, what do you do? T 
Typical uh, prediction of anything is mean prediction. You take an average of it. You'll say third semester you get about like 85% around because 80, 90, so approximately about 85%. So that's 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 how you predict. For any prediction, mean prediction is a base. So mean prediction gives you the reference. Um, so that's also called as mean model. So SST is nothing but uh, an error of your mean prediction. It's a mean model, what we call. And what we are trying to do. We're comparing the machine learning model which has predicted with the mean model okay and that's the ratio where we say SSR by SST. SSR is representing a machine learning model error score and SST is rep representing a mean model score error score of the mean model and we take a ratio of it and 1 minus that ratio gives you auto score and which is a kind of indication that how better your model is when compared to the mean model all right. So if if um, typical scores of your mean model, if R auto score, sorry, typical auto score is equal to let's say it's more than 90, 95 percent, let's say 0 0.9 or more than 0.9 or 90 percent, it simply means that you have a good model. It means your model is 90% better than an average prediction model, which is which is very good. And it can be sometimes even taken um, as an accuracy, though it is not an accuracy, it's a comparison with the mean model. Most people assume it's like an accuracy. If you say auto score is 95%, then people say your model is 95% accurate. Well, you could actually think about it, there's, there's nothing wrong about it, but it's it's literally it's an actually comparison with the mean model. Your model is better than 95% better than the mean model. And of course, if you have auto score is equal to 1, or sorry, uh, auto score is equal to 1, it literally means you have a perfect model, which means zero error. Zero error. Your SSR is actually zero. You can get SSR zero, only all of the errors of all of the data points are actually zero. What if you say auto score is, you know, less than um, uh, let's say it's around uh, 15, for example, 0 0.5. Let's say it's a bad model. How about auto score is equal to zero? So most people say it's a bad model, yes, but you can also say your model, the model which you have done, is no better than mean model. So because SSR and SST are exactly the same, and that's how that's when when we get if you look at the formula, is one minus SSR by SST. 1 minus SSR by SST. If SSR equal to SST, then you get 1 minus 1, which is 0. It literally means your SSR equal to SST, which means your model and mean model are same. So it's no better. So of course it's a bad model, but it's it's, it's just like your mean model. So your mean model does not have any, you know, glassy algorithms or any prediction, simple mean. So whatever you're doing with your model is no better than mean model. That's what we say SSR R2 is equal to. And the bigger question which usually people ask in interviews, can you have auto score negative? Usually from my experience, I have, I have interviewed many people in machine learning. They say, no, 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 it cannot be because it's an accuracy. You know, how can I get a negative accuracy? So there is no point. A lot, a lot of people think that auto score range is zero to one, but it's not true. Auto score can be negative because um, your SSR can be actually much higher than your SST. Possible. All right. Let's take an example. Let's say the same example I'm going to do here. I'll put 5 here, for example. Okay. Then I write the same auto score. So you get minus 1. What does it mean? Well, it means that your model, the model which I've just built, is bad, even bad than the mean model. A normal mean model. It's a base difference, it's better than your model. Okay. And you could do this calculation as well. Um, if, you, if you look at it, if you have this y is equal to 1, 2, 3, and y predict is equal to 1, 2, 5, okay, your SSR is nothing but the square of sum of square of the residuals or errors. So errors are 0, 0, minus 2. So if you square and add it, you get minus 2 square is equal to 4. 
SST remains the same because SST is same as 1 to 3. SST is your uh, 2. So if you put it in the formula of 1 minus SSR by SST, what you get? 1 minus 4 by 2, which results in 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. That's what we got, minus 1. So the minus 1 represents it is bad model, very bad model, even bad than your main model. In fact, auto score does not have any, uh, you know, uh, lower boundaries. It can go to minus infinite, for example. It can go anywhere from minus infinite, a very large negative number, till 1. 1 is, of course, the highest number because the SSR by SST at best can be 0. It cannot be negative because both are sum of squares of some numbers. So it cannot be negative. So the formula itself, if you look at this, this term can be either positive or zero. So the upper limit of auto score is one, which means a perfect model will get a one. And there is no lower limit as such. So if it's a negative, it's already very, very bad model. It's even bad than your main model. Okay, so that's all about auto score. I hope it's very clear. And if you understand this, any questions twisted around auto score can be answered. There is also another method called auto score adjusted. Okay, if you have a lot many predictors, we, we go for auto adjusted score. Um, but that's pretty simple. You have an adjusted formula and then we use it when you have more number of predictors. Okay, thank you very much. If you like this channel, please subscribe and, and click notification button. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.